Hey guys, Rush KJ back with another video for you. Today we're going to take a look at the GameWord GeForce GTX 780 Ti Phantom. Now, this is a non reference design for the 780 Ti and it's got an impressive cooler on there. So, of course, I've done the usual trick. Let's get this out of the way and show you the card. So, this first thing we're going to see about this is it's actually massive. Um, and the cooler on this is fantastic as well. There's some really cool nifty features on this. Um, so you're going to see, obviously you've got heat sinks there, which is, we've got the design on this, so we've got the fans on the inside pushing air through. Now, it doesn't really make any difference which way the cards have designed the cooling, either having the fans on the outside pulling out or pushing in, or on the inside pulling out pushing in, it doesn't really make any difference, just basically down to design. Um, but this one, we can see the cooling fins on this look really nice. Um, but one thing you're going to note when I turn it like this, is it's two and a half slot thickness so do take this in mind if you're considering one of these for possibly SLI so make sure you've got adequate room um, for cooling as well and there's a very special feature on this I want to show you so you think well the fans are inside you can see you can see them in there but how you know if you wanted to clean it what do you do now they've thought of this this is just genius take one of these little tops unscrew it and you can actually remove the cooling fans completely. There you go. So you can clean them out. They've got a little, um, it looks very similar to a, fl a floppy uh, connection on the bottom, but they just literally slide down and in. Let's give it a wiggle to get it in. And then just slide down and then you screw them in. But that is damn awesome though. If you had to clean your fans that easily is you know it's a pretty big revolution to uh, cooling actually um, but it takes two eight pin power sockets PCI connections you've got SLI bridge there on the back we'll take a look at the non-reference PCB which is pretty beast it's pretty massive it's uh, 20 275 millimeters long two and a half slot cooling the brackets two slots of course uh, PCI slot at the bottom there nothing on the ends as such you've got five eight mil heat pipes there which go to we can see just about where they go through onto the fins but it's it's good it's really cool that i really do like that fan idea to be able to clean those that's going to make um a big difference in being able to clean your card um so there's also some stuff included um you've got a and we haven't covered the end, have we? So you've got, <laughs> let's get my hand around so I can do this properly. Dual DVI, uh, full size display port, full size HDMI. There's a little bracket uh, cut out for cooling as well. Um, but this is running stock at 980 megahertz with a boost clock of 1046. Memory clock, 3500 megahertz, three gigabytes of RAM. Uh, we've got 2830 processing cores. And that's about it. Uh, so yeah, the other things that are included, DVI to HDMI, DVI to VGA, if you still use VGA, um, okay. Uh, two six pins to one eight pin connection, driver's disc, and also a quick install guide. I think that's pretty much it though. Those heat pipes are cool. And uh, it's also got a metal plate underneath as well. One thing that could be cool actually is if it's added on as a back plate, it would just finish it off. I think make it look just absolute animal. <laughs> but you can see through that. But these fans are just absolutely fantastic. And that's a revolu revolutionary design for this. But it's an absolute animal, this card. But thank you for checking out the unvi unvideo, the unboxing of the Gamewood Phantom GeForce GTX 780 Ti. I hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you all in the next one.